Hey everybody, MotoPoet59 here. We're talking a little bit about California high-speed rail. Um, I'm a railroad person. I worked for the railroad for 40 years. I retired from the railroad after 40 years. And I think that the high-speed rail is a great concept. I just don't think that the time is right for high-speed rail from northern to southern California. It's just not going to work. And you know what? Even Gavin Newsom realized that. One of the first uh, major uh, executive orders he issued was to cancel all parts of the high-speed rail that weren't already under construction. And that uh, piece that was under construction is from Bakersfield to Madeira, from no place to no place. And I, I hate to say no place to no place because I live in Bakersfield, and I like Bakersfield, uh, regardless of what other people have to say about it. But... Who goes from Bakersfield to Madeira? Who goes from Bakersfield to Fresno? This high-speed rail project was supposed to be from Los Angeles to San Francisco, L.A. to the Bay Area. And it was supposed to cost 11, 11 point something billion dollars, and it was supposed to be done uh, by 2020. Well, it's 2021. None of it is finished. Uh, not one piece of rail has been laid. There are still parts of the survey down on this end that have not even been graded around Bakersfield. They have years to go before the high-speed rail between Bakersfield and Madeira will be complete. Years! When I was still working, I was working up in Fresno one day and I thought I was about two years away from retirement at the time and I thought, you know what? If I'm going to have to pay for high-speed rail with my tax dollars, I wouldn't mind uh, going to work for them and making some good money, get some of my money back. And uh, so I went to their office in Fresno and spoke to a lady there about, you know, told her my credentials and where would I submit a, a resume for the signal part of it. And she told me, it will be years before we're ready to let the signal contracts. Numerous years. Those were her exact words. Numerous years. And that was in uh, late 2017. And um, they're getting a lot of the support work done. Supports for the uh, Hanford Viaduct and the, the bridge over the San Joaquin River in Fresno. And uh, some of these big boat projects. I haven't been to Fresno since I retired. I haven't been up there to see... Uh, what more has been completed, but it doesn't matter. I know that no rails have been laid. I know that no signal contracts have been let. I'm not, I am no longer interested in doing that. I'm retired. I enjoy retirement and uh, I'm not interested in going to work no matter how much it pays. I'm doing just fine. But the California high speed rail, this was a, it was a terrible idea. Uh, great concept, as I said, but a terrible idea. And, uh, I don't know what the amount they are. I don't follow it very closely. I don't know how much over the original budget they are just trying to build the piece between Bakersfield and Madeira. And that's about 120 miles, give or take. And uh, I know that at one point they were already at around $70 billion just for this piece. And that was a couple of years ago. Um, said it was supposed to be done last year it's nowhere near being complete all this money's been spent and the original plan was for this to be electrified high-speed 220 mile an hour trains this is what it's all elevated no grade crossings but they still don't know how they're going to power it uh, the grid in california right now isn't capable of supporting it and the environmentalists I don't think the environmentalists are going to let them build any more power plants. They haven't built any. Uh, we're going to have to figure out some way to power this. So it's my understanding now that they're going to go ahead and just use diesels and the speed will be around 120 miles an hour. So 100 miles an hour under speed, billions, tens of billions of dollars over budget. It will probably be at least a decade late in getting going. And, uh, it's just a boondoggle. Thanks a lot, Arnold Schwarzenegger. A lot of people blame Jerry Brown for this. Jerry Brown had nothing to do with 
signing high-speed rail in the lot. That was Arnold Schwarzenegger. It was done, I believe, in 2008. Like I said, I don't follow it all that closely, but Schwarzenegger signed it in a lot. It was sold a bill of goods, and uh, they had the little mock-ups of the trains they were going to use, but the, but the ones they ended up, the, even the electrified ones, were going to look nothing like those models they had out there. But uh, Arnie signed it. Good old Arnie. Yeah, he was a conservative. But Jerry Brown, he just supported it. I I couldn't believe that Newsom canceled it. I was happy that he did. It's the only thing he's done since he's been the governor of California that made any sense. And uh, I'm glad it's I'm glad it's been canceled. Maybe sometime in the distant future, they'll be able to finish it when it makes more sense. Because right now it really doesn't. There just aren't that many people going from L.A. to the Bay Area. And if they want to do that, they can fly. It's relatively inexpensive to fly from L.A. to San Francisco. And there are 10 flights a day from LAX and Burbank to San Francisco and, and Oakland and the Bay Area, wherever you're going to go. There are, it's, it's not a problem, and it's not expensive. The uh, high-speed rail was going to end up being relatively expensive to ride, and it was going to take a long time to get there. Uh, the Tehachapi Mountains still have to be gone through, and they're not going to run anywhere near 200 or 100 or even 60 miles an hour over the mountain. They're going to have to slow down for those curves. It's going to take a long time to get from L.A. to San Francisco. And I, Gavin Newsom evidently saw that, or somebody told him, and he agreed, whatever, but it's been canceled. What do you think about the high-speed rail? Do you think it's a good idea? Do you think it's like me? It's a good concept, but it's the wrong timing? Do you think that we're uh, behind the times because everybody in Europe's doing it, even though California is about half the size of Europe? Um, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Shoot me an email at motorport 59 at gmail.com. Like, share, subscribe, click on the bell if you want to be notified of future content. We'll see you all later.